<laughs> Again? I know it. Well, you know, uh, she's having fun out there, and we got a little taste of it. So, uh, you know, go go join Paige. And I can Art imagine we'll, we'll have that information on our website. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And we might check back with her again. But uh, speaking of uh, uh, a good taste, this is it. Our second part of the challenge. It's time to get your sweet tooth. And which is that tooth, by the way? Any uh, of them. It doesn't matter. Okay, anyway. Okay. okay. Go, go ahead. This Our crock pot challenge continues with desserts that you probably don't crock associate, crock? I know, with a slow cooker. Okay. We're talking banana rum cake, oatmeal raisin cookie apples, and strawberry cheesecake in a jar. Here to show us how, it's Mama Challenge blogger, Autumn Rio. All right, Good Autumn. Morning. It's how your you? turn. It's, it, it is, is your turn. turn. Can it's you easy. live up to it? We're going to try absolutely right. and just like you said a lot of people don't associate the crock pot or your slow cooker as something For desserts. That you do your dessert but to tell you the truth it really did make things a little bit easier and that really is just kind of the best part about the crock pot is that it's supposed to make life easier right this is like a crock pot on steroids <laughs> it is, is this it, it is just you know, it makes perfect. <laughs> if Ronnie only had a one like this, <laughs> yes, yeah. could really do some meals there. But right. what we were able to make here, this is actually a banana rum cake that we made literally in your slow cooker. Combined your bananas, you could use a, a rum, or you could use like a rum a imitation rum flavoring. Imitation use all rum. that old bananas that you're sitting there like, oh, what am I going to do with those? Just like you use for banana bread, stick it in your crock pot. You're going to let it cook, and then when you flip it over, it's this nice, pretty thing. You make a little glaze with wow. a little powdered sugar and a little more rum, um, and then we put a little bit of walnuts on there, and you've got this great, pretty dessert. And that's the whole time that you're sitting there cooking or eating with your friends. You don't actually have to be sitting that in the is kitchen. Amazing. You just flip it over. You know, you could just Yay. cut a hole in it and call it bunt cake too. Hey, you know what? I'm okay with that. Right. I was just thinking, what, what do you do? Are, are you kind of host if you have the crock pot that's Well, most of your crock pots are, I would go to say, and this is also three great tips. Let me make sure that I tell you guys this. One, crock pots do come in different sizes. So you need to make oh. sure that you understand yeah, when you're reading the instructions. Sometimes they're going to be four quarts. Sometimes they're going to be eight quarts. Sometimes they're going to be seven quarts. So make sure you know your crock pot and know that it also, what its cook times are, because it may tell you in a recipe it's going to take an hour, but really with your crock pot, it may take two or three. So you really do need to make sure while you know your crock pot, you also know its cook times. Okay. Okay. okay? Um, the second thing we were able to yeah. make is take, again, those apples that are sitting there. I mean, everyone's got, you know, lots of apples sitting at the house. You don't always get them sliced up before they start to turn color. So what we were able to do here is we've cored these out, and then they an oatmeal cookie kind of granola. We've put them here in the crock pot. We've let them cook for about five to six hours on these, and then you're able to serve these. You could put them with ice cream if you wanted, or you could do it more of a breakfast kind of, of dessert. Okay, thing. that's so, nice. That's How about good. the jars? Yeah, those jar the jars. Those are you know kind of the cool trend right now is doing the little jar desserts. They make for pretty presentation, and again, you can make these well ahead of time. Let them cook all day long while you're doing. Doing what you want to with your friends and your family, and then come in there. Um, you know, I want to get a shot, shot of this, really, not to interrupt you. Oh no, not at all. And we're going to go ahead what and this looks like in the crock pot. That's so is you're this gonna how use, you do it. This is how you do it. You've got a little bath in here, and we're going to kind of put that together in just a little bit. But this is a little bath here, a little warm bath. <laughs> you're going to let it sit there. Um, a bon okay. marie is actually the name of it, um, but this is a warm bath, a warm is what bath. the rest of us would call it. <laughs> and then you put it in there, and you're going to let it cook for a little while, and it's going to rise, you know, and you're going to go ahead and be able to put Perfect. this right Perfect. Are you ready? Topping. For what? So, to make this. I'm yeah, ready. to make it. It's going to be that super easy. I made the lasagna. You can make this. Here we go. Poor Carrie. Hey, okay. I'm not complaining. So all we have here already is a little cream cheese, and we've already blended it up with our eggs. Those okay. You want to make sure our room temperature, just like any other cheesecake that you would make, you want it to be room temperature. That's going to make for your smooth mixture. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead. We've got just a little bit of milk here if you want to pour that in there. Okay. A little bit of sugar. Oh, that was non-fat milk, I could tell. Yes, absolutely. Right. Um, actually, you're going to use a cream or a whole milk or a half and half. You okay. can really choose that one. Okay. okay. We're going to mix that up. We've got a little bit of cornstarch here. I'm going to put it in there for you. No pressure, but Roni Proter has joined us. She had the savory <laughs> dish in the in the crock pot, and now we're working on the, the dish. The opponents are at the same. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got a little. <laughs> these, by the way. It looks really good. We've got really this great pairing. I know. Hello, lasagna and cheesecake. Talk about a great meal. I think and she had a little smirk on her face. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, see we'll about see that about. just a little bit. And then we've got a little zest here of our orange, you're literally going to combine oh. that up, put it in a pitcher, and then we have these nice little jars that we have, you know, little jars that are sitting around. You've had your jellies or anything in at home. And you're going to do that because it's going to make things easier later. And no. all this is literally is graham cracker and a little bit of sugar. Okay. If you wanted to, you could put a little bit of butter in there if you wanted to have a nice little richer crust. But a lot of people, especially in the summertime, just like that nice little crumble mm -hmm. in the contrast of the smooth on there. And, and then I just go ahead and just pour it in. Look at that. Now how far up do I mm. pour You can this? do it about two-thirds 
And then once you get that one in there, you can go ahead and put it in the crock pot. We've already put a little bit of water this in there. This is delicious, Autumn. Oh, thank you Autumn, so much. And again, there's and no water in here. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Good. Here we go. Here, so let me go let ahead. Me, uh, yeah, you got it. How and much what, water is this? Um, you want to go the water all the way up to about here. We may not have quite as much as that we need here. And in she goes. Right now. And if you needed to, just make sure you don't put any water in these. So you might want to put the jar top back on there while you're putting them in the crock pot. Put the water in, then take the tops off the jars. So you don't get any of that moisture inside of the jar. And then okay. how long? You're gonna do this one for about two hours. Again, know your okay. crock pot. Low no, heat. No, this one's actually oh, high, high heat. High heat. Okay. Uh, and then All when right. you take it out, you're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for a little while. Okay. Get it all nice and cool, and then you add your did little you try strawberries. It, it's really yummy. All right. It and tastes Autumn, like did, a cheesecake. That's did you try perfect. her lasagna? I didn't. All right. I mean, why don't you exchange bites? There you go. There you have I'm it. Wanting to all try right, everything. Try that chicken. It's oh wow. Tender. Is it really good? It's yummy, right? It? And see, we oh, didn't have to do bone. any time in the morning. We had a little prep work, and now we have strawberry cheesecakes and mm. Sonia for dinner. I know. Don't we and look like a million bucks. Without the stress. I like that. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely. And so my kitchen is take clean. this over. Mike and I will go. You know, the eat. only reason they're talking is because they did separate dishes. If you both did savory, claws would be out. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Back no. behind set, you'll see a totally <laughs> yes. different side of Autumn. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> this is it's great. really good. Thank you, guys. Okay, you can go to mamachallenge.com for these dessert recipes. Thanks again. Thank you.